arrive at beautiful Medang at 6 p.m. Settling into my hotel room, I pour a smooth Tennessee into a crystal clear glass. The soft, mellow, rich aroma immediately envelopes my senses as I make my way to the beach to watch the tide set in from the Bismarck Sea under a canopy of stars. Across the drum of the waves, the resort owner, Sir Peter Bada, playing the keys on point. Atmosphere, too good. Australian by birth, a true Papua New Guinean, at heart. He was revered by many as Lapoon Papa or Mum Peter. Mum, in native Wali, means brother. The true story of Sir Peter and beautiful Medang. His journey began with humble roots, piloting for the Franciscans in their small airline, Fran Air, in the late 1950s in the remote reaches of Itapa, West Sepik province. After a few years of loyal service to the Franciscans, Peter spread his wings with Tal Air and Qantas. If you give a little more than you take the Franciscans, salt of the earth, committed to serving the poor, to advocating for societal change. Their virtues would underpin Peter's character in his years ahead. Bruce Flynn, a brewer by trade, was seconded from Tooth's Brewery in Sydney during the establishment of PNG's iconic SP Brewery at Bedele. His wife, Rita, was prominent in the establishment of netball in PNG, hence the name, Rita Flynn, Netball Courts, Vicini, Barocco. We will come back to Bruce a little later in the story. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the alert notification, so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. It was the call of untamed exploration that beckoned Peter further. Peter flew Nelson Rockefeller, governor of New York at that time, during the futile search for his son, Michael Rockefeller, who disappeared during an expedition in the Asmat region of the Indonesian province of South Papua. After his boat capsized, some claim that he died from drowning, exposure, or shark attack. Native Asmat whispers suggest that he was killed and eaten by a tribe who practiced ritual cannibalism in head hunting. His disappearance remains one of the most intriguing mysteries of the 20th century. Nelson Rockefeller would become the 41st Vice President of the United States under President Ford's administration. The Rockefellers are synonymous with immense wealth and is the epitome of the American dream realized. The family's fortune, established by John D. Rockefeller Sr., the founder of the Standard Oil Company in the late 19th century, has endured for generations, making the Rockefellers one of the wealthiest families in history. After piloting Rockefeller, Peter embarked on a daring escapade. navigating the meandering mighty Sepik in a dugout canoe with a tin shed for eating and sleeping. That was the start of Melanesian tourist services. There is a story of a time when Peter was taking some American executives up the Sepik during one of his tours when his canoe began sinking in the middle of the night in crock infested waters. One of the men, who had detachable prosthetic legs, had to be carried ashore in two parts. The locals, he recalls, were astounded to see this, and even more so when the man cheerfully strapped on his legs and began walking around. 
His openness to new ideas and willingness to adjust shaped his character, making him instrumental in helping rural communities in need by using his helicopter for transportation. If you give a little more than you take And if you try to fix more than you break If you're the kind who takes the time to help a stranger in the rain Is a place for people like you Medan Resort, formerly Hotel Medan, is over 120 years old, making it the oldest hotel in PNG. It was run by a number of colorful colonial characters after World War II, including the Huxley and Gilmore families, then by Dutch speculator Daddy Cool, who at the time also owned the Bird of Paradise in Baroka. Peter acquired it in 1976. All seven public bars were immediately shut down resulting in Bruce from SP rushing to Madang to prevent the closure of SP's most lucrative beer outlet in PNG at that time. Following the closure of the public bars, Peter and his wife Janet began the task of cleaning up the hotel, purchasing adjacent land and turning the hotel into a resort, facing the beautiful Madang Harbour. In an impressive span of 45 years, the landscape underwent a remarkable transformation, giving rise to the esteemed Medang Resort and Calabobo Village. He was knighted in 2001. As a bush pilot, he gained extensive knowledge of the region and earned a reputation akin to Nelson Rockefeller. His early years flying the Franciscans, rather than a conventional career in Sydney, served as a profound pullback, revealing the breathtaking beauty of PNG's jungles, waterfalls, and plains. Much like a bow and arrow, the farther you pull back, the greater the kinetic energy, trajectory, and impact. If you would like to watch more loyal to local true stories, let us know by commenting below. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the alert notification so you won't miss any of our upcoming videos. Thank you for watching.